stove I made out of two soup cans, some mesh, some gutter flashing. It's been about 12 ounces of water in that skillet for four minutes and it's already bubbling up pretty good. Works pretty nice for a little homemade cheap stove. Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Shannon with Got To Go Prepared. I just want to do a quick video here for you uh, on a couple things. One was another stove. If you watched the previous video, I did uh, uh, talked about some different stoves and a way to uh, cook in the wilderness and out camp and what have you. I wanted to show you this one. I forgot about it. Uh, it's one that I, I made and if I could remember where I saw it at, I'd give credit to the people who did it. And it may be a combination of two or three different people. Um, what it is, is two cans. I believe this is a Campbell soup can, and this is a, uh, I believe a tomato sauce can, a little bit bigger. You can see the differences. This can, as you can see, see if I can get a close up for you, it's got holes on the top and the, near the bottom, punch through, and then a lot of holes in the bottom. This can, let me take this off. This is the way the can sits. This is the bottom of the can. I cut it out, but I, I left a lip around the edge, which is a little tricky. Use some snips. So this can fits inside of it, but was, will not fall through. So you flip it over. This is the side you dump the tomato sauce out. Flip it over. So I've got a series of holes in the bottom. You can see that. And then this one just snugly fits in there. And this part is where you build your fire. You would uh, put your wood and twigs and stuff to start your fire. And this is a piece of uh, gutter guard shield that I used as a windscreen that I found around the garage. Just sit like that and then you sit your cup or what have you on top like that. Also, in addition to that, another piece of gutter guard that's more mesh. You can see that there. If you didn't need the windscreen, this holds up really good. And you roll it to form to fit your can, or whatever you've got, and it should just pop right inside there. And you sit your cook pot or pan on top of this. And I'll splice in a video of me using this, uh, and you can see the fire burning. It works really good. Uh, of course, this is an additional windscreen that you can use them in combination with one another and put that on there. And like I said, I'd give credit to, to the people that I saw do this. Uh, some of my own ideas mixed in with some other folks' ideas like a lot of us do to, uh, to create things. But I, I'm, I, I like to do things myself sometimes and come up with different ways. I had another way that doesn't cook water as fast, boil water as fast, but I use just a large can with holes in the, around the top and bottom and then drop a sterno in there just to have like a little hobo stove. But I wanted to show that to everybody. Maybe some of you guys can uh, make one yourself for you do it yourselfers out there. But I'm gonna leave that there. The other thing I wanted to go over today is the inside of this pouch, which I mentioned in the last video on the stoves uh, that I talked about what this was. This is, uh, I got this off of Amazon and it didn't even have a brand, I don't believe. There are similar ones to it. It holds a, a water bottle and has a pocket on the outside. Uh, I know several companies make similar ones. Uh, I wanted, I liked this uh, uh, military camo version of it, so I got this and it comes with a strap, so you can hang it over your shoulder. It also comes with these right here, molly, so you can molly it onto a bag or on the side. And what I have done here on the outside, I have a small, buck knife it clips on the outside here and then I also have a small button compass that's strapped on the outside on the opposite side I have a couple glow sticks for extra light and the front pocket 
one thing I don't like about this bag, and I'm going to figure a different system, is these little ties come off of the zipper constantly, and it gets annoying. But other, the bag's held up pretty good. It's pretty solid. On the inside of this pack, I have a small big lighter, a whistle, I have a Bushnell H65L headlamp. I believe I bought this at Walmart. Just clicks, clips on your on your hat or what have you. So you got light, mylar space blanket to cover the for cover. I have a small outdoor tin with some survival items in it, and I'll go over that in just one second. Also having here a small little bottle with some ibuprofen, uh, Tylenol, uh, I think some antihistamine, anti-diarrhea, some just a few little meds that you might need there. A small mirror. This little mirror, <laughs> hip up, uh, actually come off of, um, like I said, I like to do it yourself type things. It come off a of mirror so you can get rid of your blind spot, but it works great. I didn't need them anymore on the mirror, so I used it in my bag. I also have a small little S hook. Great to hook on a, tie a strap around a tree. Hook this to the strap, I and mean, you have a way to hang a bag or something up high off the ground so you don't lose it. I have that inside. The inside of this, if you can see, it has molly strapping inside as well. Um, also inside here, a couple birthday candles. These are the trick candles that don't blow out. Uh, or at least they, you blow them out, they light back. I put a couple of these in here. Great if it's kind of windy, and if you can get one of these lit, and then get your fire started with one of these. Of course, the wax is great as well. Uh... Also, he's wanting some attention today. Here's a little bottle of um, uh, hopefully he's occupied now, but let me give, start back to you. A lot of you guys have dogs, love dogs. Sometimes they just want attention when they want it. Uh, super glue, which I am that I keep Molly in right here. As you can see, the Molly straps in there work great to hold little small things for sealing up little cuts and things. So it's kind of a in addition to the first aid that I have in this Altoid tin. This Altoid tin is a rubber band that I keep around it, as well as a, um, it holds this on the back. You see that up close. There's an arrow card. Guy on uh, eBay, you can look it up, arrow cards. Great quality steel, and there's arrowheads that you can punch out. Make a bow or arrows, spear, and it has a saw surface on the side that can saw into small notches to help build your bow. I really like that. It's kind of a nice little touch. I added it to the back. And then a, a ranger band on this Altoid tin, which, not a real ranger band. I just made it out of a old inner tube from a tire that was busted. So you can make these too. You make a lot of them. Go by a bicycle shop. They get a bunch of old uh, inner tubes that are busted, they've changed them out, they'll probably give them to you free. And in this Altoy tin here, I have bandages, wet wipe, another knife, a bullion cube, another little button compass, cotton, fire making materials, a pencil with duct tape, chapstick, great in fire making as well, and aluminum foil in the bottom. Aluminum foil comes in good if you need an extra container or, or a windshield is uh, for your for your cooking and your fire keep all that inside there and that's all that's in the exterior pouch of of this bag on the inside of the big compartment is my uh, cooking stuff and this fits in here very very snug which is good that's on the inside of that bag this is the cooking uh, stove that I talked about in the last video, the Swiss Army uh, Volcano Stove. Uh, if you didn't see that, go back and watch that as well. I keep a small scrub pad on there to keep it clean. This pops off. I have my cup. This does not come black, by the way. I painted this again with uh, high heat stove paint. I recommend doing that with everything. Same with the, uh, the small uh, do-it-yourself so stove I made here. I painted that as well. Keeps the rust and anything else off of that. 
but you can see you uh, put this in there like that. Bottle goes in. You boil your water. The stove is uh, is really easy to to build a fire. You see the opening there. get your fire started and you just feed your wood right in your twigs and what have you and as it cooks you just as it as it gets more and more in there you just keep feeding more wood and this will boil and you'll notice the holes around here similar to the holes that I have on this one uh, to, to vent it and allow it to get hot. You can also just put your cup straight in there and boil your water as well right there and then you get your handles for drinking boiling water whatever you need it for and then you can fill this up. This, is, this has a cork in it. Cork can be used for a lot of good things. You can use it as a double as a fishing bobber uh, things of that nature. <laughs> you guys have seen the movie the, the Edge where they use a, I think a leaf or a piece of cork and a a needle and they magnetize it on a silk tie to try to make a magnet and let it float in the water. Uh, neat show. But that right there is kind of what I keep in this little bag and it kind of covers all my basic needs. And this is a great little thing just to throw in your car if you got to throw something in there real quick or you're getting in somebody else's car and you want to have a quick thing just to have with you or you're going on a small hike in the woods, you're going hunting for a couple days and you just want a couple things in there throw a few uh, granola bars maybe a pack of ramen noodles in your cargo pants pocket your hunting jacket and this right here and you're good to go but I uh, hope that helped and I uh, hope you all enjoyed that remember to like and subscribe so we can continue to bring you some more interesting videos and we'll see you again real soon and remember you got to go prepared because you just never know.